Hello, my name is Kevin Henson, and I am investigating the effect of carabid beetles on plant species composition and abiotic environmental factors such as evapotranspiration in Florida pine systems. Many current restoration projects focus on abiotic control and planting to provide high primary production for facilitation of diversity higher up on the food chain. This is a bottom-up approach to management. Currently, management projects often lose plant richness in the first few years and do not contain the diversity of the original reference systems. Top-down management, which uses an upper predator in the food chain to regulate lower trophic levels, has been used less frequently but with great success. One example is the release of the gray wolves into Yellowstone National Park. These are often expensive projects requiring large tracts of land and a long time period to see change. Most simple restoration projects do not have the ability to support such an approach. But what if we are looking at it on the wrong scale? The majority of animal biomass in most terrestrial systems is from insects. Carabid beetles are top predators in the insect world and could have similar top-down cascading effects on other insects and plants. Breeding and releasing native carabids could regulate herbivorous insect populations and could lead to an increase in niches for plants. This promotes plant richness and can increase primary productivity. With more plants, more water is used and thus transpired. Essentially, the release of a beetle could change evapotranspiration in a system.